Um, hi, hi guys, Top Hops here, and today I guess we've got a really big package, probably the biggest package we've opened up in a while. Um, I know you guys can't see me, I guess I can pull it back a little bit, can you guys see me? Hi! Um, we're going to be opening up the world's largest Harry Potter Funko Pop, actually probably the world's largest Funko Pop ever. Um, this is the 18 inch Harry Potter, but we also have some other stuff that we're going to be opening up first. So, let's get started. I don't really know how to do this guys. I think we're just gonna move this off to the side for now and then we'll get into these two first because I am still really excited about these two. All right guys, so the first package we're gonna be starting with here is one from PP Joe Protectors. Now they actually haven't sent over a package in a while but they do some like really funky protectors and I actually wanna show these off because I don't know which ones they sent over but I am really excited to check them out still. All right guys, so now that we are inside, what did they send over? <sighs> Ooh, what is this? Okay, hold on, so this right here I think this is one of their actual hard stacks. So let's check this out first. All right guys, so this right here is the PP Joe hard stack. We're gonna have to test this out maybe compared to a normal pop stack that Funko makes. And it does say right on the front there guys, pop vinyl PP Joe rock solid. And this is just like a piece of paper on the inside. It's not actually what it looks like. It's clear all the way through. But yeah, this thing looks really nice. And then guys, after that, they sent over some of their other funky protectors as well. So let's check out these here because there looks to be some pretty cool ones. All right guys, so here's some of their normal protectors. Um, These ones here are the, I believe, 0.5 millimeter. So these are their normal protectors. I actually use these on a lot of my figures. They're actually really nice. And then we also have this over here. So these here, I'm not too sure what they are, but they are like sleeves that you can put over top of the figure. So you guys can see here, there's a green bloody one. We also have one for like a wrestling cage, which is really great. Then here's a glow in the dark one, as well as here's a normal bloody one, um, which is really neat. I really do love the blood splatter on this. This one here is, oh, it's their Star Wars one. You guys can see like some stars in the actual uh, lines there, as well as this one right here, which is bloody, as well as it's covered in like gravestones and stuff. Now guys, let me grab a couple figures and we'll test them out because I don't really know how these fit on them yet. All right guys, so I grabbed three figures here that would go well with these. So I think we're gonna start with this one here to go with the rock. Um, and like I said, I don't know too much about these. I always thought they were just sending over the protectors, but these seem to be a little bit different. And maybe it's so they fit better on the shelves. I'm not too sure, but let's see how they fit. I right, guess so there's a protective film like normal. Now, I think I'm just supposed to fold these into a square, I think. Let me just try this out here and see what happens. All right, guys, so I got it. Now, let's slide this thing on and see what it looks like. I think this is what you're supposed to do, right? Because this totally makes sense. I'm not too sure. Um, but to me... This makes the most sense. But yeah, this does look really great. You guys can see here, it's got the ring on the bottom and it's just kind of like a protector you put around the figure, maybe if you want to make it a little bit smaller for your shelf. But I do think the ring looks pretty great. All right guys, so here is the bloody one. This thing actually looks really great. So you can see there's like blood splatter all over and it's a little bit clearer than the older protectors used to be, which I think is nice because then you can see the figure a little bit better. But I also think this goes really well with the Predator just because Predator is also blood splattered. So it looks pretty great. All right guys, so I just got the third one on here. This is the Freddy Krueger, it's a Nightmare on Elm Street one. I actually really do love this pop and it looks great with the bloody as well as like the tombstones at the bottom. It's a really nice touch. Well, anyways, guys, I'm not gonna put them all on just because there is a lot of them that they sent over, but PP Joe, thank you so much for sending these over. And if you guys wanna go check them out, ppjoeprotectors.com. Hold on, guys, it's actually ppjoe.com, not ppjoeprotectors, sorry. All right, guys, so do you know what time it is now? It is U2's time! I am so excited about this, guys. So this is actually my, I think, first U2s I've ever ordered um, besides the ones that U2s has sent over to me to check out. So I am really excited about this one. So I ordered one. Um, well, actually, I ordered a bunch of them, but some of them are on pre-order. So those ones will be coming in like August and September and October. But I am trying to order some that are still available on the website so that way we can check them out right now. Plus, I've just recently got into YouTube, so I am really excited about a lot of the stuff that they've got on their website. Um, so this is the one that we've got right here. I love the eyes on the front. It's also got the signature pink tape. But anyways, guys, I'm so excited about this. So let's cut into it and see which one it is. I'm pretty sure I know which one it is because there was only one of them in the order that wasn't a pre-order so it should be that one but you guys know me i don't want to spoil it till the box is open all right guys yeah it is the one i was thinking okay so this is really cool i wonder if you guys can tell which one it is from right here i'm pretty sure it's obvious but uh let's open this thing up all right guys here we go so this one right here is pretty funny this is the clown u2s and i'm so excited about this one now the reason i got this one is because my friends and i actually use this clown emoji meme a lot when we're in discord and stuff like that so i just think this one looks so great and it's so fitting and i use it a lot so i thought it was a good meme to pick up and then you guys can see here all u2s come with a sleeve on the front so you guys 
guys can see, that is what the figure looks like. And then there's the sleeve on the side. So there's the clown emojis all around, the signature U2's eyes at the bottom. Just overall, guys, this thing looks really great. And then guys, if we pop off the sleeve here, let's see what this thing looks like. All right, guys, so I've gotta be careful with the box slap here. I don't wanna crease the inside flat. Oh, look at me, I creased it. Whatever, I'm not reselling this thing or anything. I just really wanted to get this one. Oh, also, if you guys wanna see the back of the box here, it does show uh, more of it right there. So there is the back of the box and what they show off there. And then the sides of the box are pretty much just the same thing, but it looks like it's radiating larger and larger. So you guys can see it's still part of the thing. So it goes around like that, which looks really great. Then on this side, and then on the opposite side, guys, it's got the clown with hearts coming out of them and then a clown emoji coming out of the back. Oh, also, this is pretty funny, guys. Okay, <laughs> they put, uh, you know, like little hidden messages all over the box and there it is right there, looking pretty good. All right, now let's pop this thing out of the box just to see what it looks like a little closer up. All right, guys, so here it is right here. I think it might be two pieces. Maybe it's one. I'm not too sure. No, it's one piece. It's two. Okay, cool. It's two. This is neat. All right, so it is the clown working at his computer. And if you've never seen this before, um, here is the photo on the screen right now. This is what the photo is based off of, and it's a pretty good one. Well, anyways, guys, here is the figure right here. I love the way this one looks, especially the U2's eyes and the way he's typing at the computer. It really does look exactly like the photo, and I think U2's did a great job on it. Oh, this is funny. I thought they would have put the U2's, um, like, look logo on the bottom of the chair, but they actually put him on the bottom of the feet of the clown here, which looks really great. It says YouTube's.com on one side and then the YouTube's logo on the other foot. And I'm trying to think, I think I've pre-ordered like maybe 50 of these guys overall. I don't know what it is. It's a lot of them though because I've really been enjoying them recently and a lot of content creators that I enjoy have been coming out as YouTubes and there's probably another from what's on the website right now that is going to be coming out soon, probably another five more at least that I wanted to order coming soon. So I'm so excited about those ones as well. But for now, we can at least show off the clown one. Well, anyways, guys, I think that concludes U2's time for today. Yeah. All right, guys, let's get into this 18-inch Harry Potter. Yeah, this box is probably one of the biggest boxes I've gotten in a long time. Well, because last time, guys, I pre-ordered it at GameStop, so I've never actually ordered an 18-inch figure. So I guess this is the box that they would normally come in. But yeah. This is pretty exciting. All right guys, so here we are right here. Let me show off what the front of the box looks like. This thing is huge. Okay guys, I gotta be careful here. I don't wanna ruin the box. It's a little bit dinged up, but it's not too bad at all. I'm totally okay with it because I'm gonna be taking it out of the box anyways. But yeah guys, look at this thing here. Woo. All right guys, so here is the Harry Potter with Hedwig. It is apparently 46 centimeters tall or 18 inches. This thing is pretty crazy. And one thing I wanna see after we open this thing up is that is the Hedwig the normal size of like a three inch character or is he a little bit smaller? All right guys, so it took a little bit of finagling but I did get this thing out of here. So let's check out, ooh, holy crap, what this Harry Potter looks like. All right, so it's got that little bit of cardboard in here. The box is a little bit damaged on the inside, but I don't really care about that because like I said, I am gonna be taking this out of the box, but that's why it was so hard to get off. It was dented on the top and the bottom. I mean, this thing is so heavy. I totally understand that while shipping it, but yeah, this thing looks really great. Look at the insert on this figure. It's huge. All right, guys, so I'm taking it out of the wrapping here. It even comes in a bag, which is cool. Um, so let's see. Wow. Oh my gosh. This thing's crazy. I know you guys haven't seen it yet, so I'm sorry about that, but we will have it out in a second. All right, guys, so here is the Harry Potter right here. Look at this right here. It also has that little thing for Hedwig there, and it looks like Hedwig might even be bigger than the three inch pop. That's kind of crazy if he is. Kind of creepy looking at me. But anyways, there it is right there, guys. There is the 18 inch Harry Potter looking really great. Now, let me grab the normal Hedwig figure to see if this one's bigger, because I think it is. All right, guys, so I just took the normal sized Hedwig out of the box. And yeah, look at that, guys. This one is way bigger than the other one. And if you guys want to see, this is a comparison to a normal size three inch figure and then the 18 inch one. I feel like Hedwig is a little bit smaller than normal, but still, it's a pretty big difference. And I wonder, does this head turn? No, it does not, but this one does. So yeah, careful when you've got this one, guys, because I don't think this Hedwig's head turns because it doesn't seem to be there for me. But yeah, this big Harry Potter, who gotta be careful, does for sure. Also, I noticed something about this as well. They changed up the sculpt a little bit, so they made it more detailed. So you guys can see here, the um, scarf on him actually feels kind of, you know, like, uh, what's it called? Like, uh, not fluffy, but it's got like extra little bits into it. There's grooves and stuff like that, instead of it just being flat like the small one. The scar is actually, 
actually kind of popping out a bit as well. And the crest on there is a lot bigger and more detailed than the smaller three inch version of this. Oh, also I think Hedwig looks a little different as well. Yeah, I think he's got some more feathers to him and maybe some other stuff, but yeah, the Hedwig is for sure a little more detailed. Anyways guys, overall, this is just a really, really well done figure and I do love all the 18 inch ones. So far, um, I've picked up every single 18 inch figure that is out, but actually, speaking of that, let me go grab Batman real quick. All right guys, so I just grabbed the Batman and I'm kind of excited to see which one is taller because I want to see, per I think it's Harry Potter actually. So you guys can see here. Ah, uh, no, it looks like Batman's slightly taller. I think it's because of his little ears at the top there or whatever, you know, the little bat, uh, what do you call those? I don't actually know, like his, his mask makes it a little bit taller in the back. But you guys can see here, these are the two biggest Funko Pops ever. And this is all they've made so far. I know there is a Pikachu as well as a Dancing Groot or a Potted Groot coming out. And I will be getting those two to review for sure. Well, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for watching. But before we go, what was your favorite thing that we opened up today? Um, Personally, I don't know. Maybe it's either this or the Clown U2s. I really do like both of those. Also, one more question that I had was, what's another figure that you think should be in 18-inch form? Personally, I kind of want to see a Mickey Mouse this size. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe an Elmo or like some sort of Sesame Street character maybe Kermit would be cool I think that one would be a really amazing figure but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more from me in the future don't forget to like comment subscribe do all that but this has been Upside Top Pops Popsters thanks for watching see you guys tomorrow hey you made it to the end of the video if you're new around here you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel I do upload every day after all and if you're already a subscriber thank you and you can always like the video if you know <laughs> well liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.